All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Better than me. Considering this is my second take. When I did my first take. <sighs> perfectly. But, you know, it is what it is. It happens. OBS decided to disable my mic. So, yeah. I had no sound in that video. Anywho. Welcome back to another devlog. This is devlog number 21. Today we're going to be coding in special and well, special attacks and special defense. But in my game is going to be magic defense and magic attack. You know, the classic ones don't really care for the whole special, you know, I thought of that. Since this is going to be more of like a medieval slash, well, medieval fantasy slash, you know, current fantasy type thing. It makes it a little bit modern. It, it'll explain itself as the story goes. I already have the story fully thought out for the game. But, anywho, let's go ahead and get on into it. So first things first, we have to make the game recognize that there is magic typing. So, as you guys can see right here, I'm letting the game know if the attack is magic. Well, no, I have to let it know that each the typings because I'm going to pause right here because some of you guys maybe don't notice or maybe never look too much into it. Pokemon always did like this whole special tech things based on elements and everything that wasn't, you know, type of element wise was physical. So special attacks were like fire, ice, water, grass, dragon, you know, those were special attacks. Everything that wasn't that was all physical, like poison, steel, rock, etc., etc. Even dark attacks were physical. <laughs> so that's the type of formula that we're typing in right now. Even though later on, I kind of want to change that and go for more of a just make a move, a special or physical type attack instead of going down their formula of how they're doing it. But at the moment, I'm just going to use that formula as a placeholder until I can figure out how to change it into that. So not too important on it. So as you can see, we're going to be doing Fire, water, grass, ice. I am missing fairy in this coding, but electric and dragon. Those are all our special attacks. Or, in my turn, magic attacks. I did forget the fairy in this. I will be adding that on right after this video. <laughs> but everything else that isn't any of these are returned as physical. So that would equal false. So now we're going into the coding of the monster goals and letting the game know if it is magic, it will be using magic defense to calculate what the damage is going to be. If it is physical tag, it's going to be registering the physical damage. So in this area, I do mess up a little bit because apparently my coatings are off inside of my battle system, I, I believe, because after I changed everything to magic defense, I did misspell a little bit. You know, some of it was medium case, lower case, and I did forget a few like lingering things once I changed everything for special defense. But I fixed it in this video. So there's no huge issue with that. So next. I believe, yeah, we're going to change this as well, just so the game knows, you know, attack and defense. 
for these coatings. Now we're going to be doing debugging, which I never really knew existed of how to do it inside of your coding until now. So it's interesting to see this because this debugging section will actually show an error that I wasn't even aware of because, you know, the coding never told me that anything was wrong. So now, as we walk into the grass and we use one attack, the debugging system, the debugging should show up instantly as I use back kick. Okay. It got everything for back kick, so this is how much damage, you know, is calculated. As long as it's showing up a number, it is working for my defense. But the thing is, magic attack is not working. You will see that once I go back in and do a testing on the magic attack. So it's showing up as physical. This is the error for the magic defense and the magic attack right now. And that will actually show the error up like in a few seconds. But it is showing normal defense, crit, and attack. So nothing is wrong with that at the moment. Just ec doing extra checkings. I go in, and now I'm going to use Flame Claw. As you can see, this error pops up now under here to let me know that something didn't go right with the magic attacks. So now I'm going to go back in my coding and start looking around, making sure I have everything spelled right. The funny thing, it's in my Monster Girl base. Because all I did, I think I clicked it twice just so it can tell me, like, where is the error? Yeah, I click this twice and it takes me directly to the problem. Misspellings. So I'm going up here and these are capitalized. They should be lowercase. That's going to take me a while to learn and it was still labeled as SP here. So I missed that and now I'm changing it to magic. And that should be everything. Nope. There's another code that's messed up now, which is this. These should be capitalized. And there we go. No more errors. Everything is fixed. Now we can go in and it should instantly pop up when that happens. Now it actually grabbed codes. Well, it grabbed the details of the attack from the magic and magic defense. So magic attack and magic defense are now working. And now I'm doing like one final thing that game dev told me to do. And we're going to be setting the actual like mana points to where it actually goes down. For those of you guys who don't know what mana points is in my game, it's basically PP points that, you know, basically how Pokemon has PP. It is power points. Mine is labeled as mana. So those are mana points. I just didn't name it as MP just because it's just like, eh, why would I name it as that when I like just normal mana better? <laughs> so now we're setting those to where it actually goes down because as you guys, if you guys have paid attention, it always stayed at 10 the entire time. Anytime I use something, it always stayed at that exact same number. It never went down, never stayed down. Now with this code, it should stay down the whole time like I'm losing points
So I should go in here and use Bat Kick. No, I use Fling Claw. So Fling Claw has 10. I use it. And now, only have 9 left. So that's actually working now. So to actually keep their respective, like, numbers. And also the enemies also follow that logic too. Once they run out of out of mana, they no longer have anything left on that. So that is basically the end of this video. Uh, it didn't take long to do this one. Uh, this video was originally, let's see. I don't remember it being that long. Yeah, it was only 18 minutes. Only lasted 18 minutes. Last video was 20, 29 minutes. So basically 30. Uh, the next video is going to be quite longer. But we're going to be dabbling into the party system inside of devlog number 22. Which was a lot more of a hassle just because of my fault. So yeah, it was nothing game dev did. It was just something that I, I easily overlooked. Coding is easily overlooked sometimes you know especially if you're just like in the moment and you look away and you still have the video playing while I try to learn at the same time it's overwhelming a little bit I know I can speed up my videos you know just to cancel out some of that wait time that I have in my videos but in my brain it's just like no I must copy everything as fast as possible <laughs> which I'm gonna stop doing I'm gonna stop doing that and actually you know take my time you know soak in all the information I can there's no point in rushing anything doesn't help me <laughs> so yeah it, it was actually kind of fun doing this one but the next hassle is the party system which not looking forward to because <laughs> I know that's more of a bigger project than what this was so with that said I'm gonna end it off there Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to go put fairy type inside of my magic, magic coating. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.